Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video, I wanna teach you how to set up and install Cloudflare on your website. I've done several of these video tutorials over the years on our YouTube channel and our blog, um, but it seems like Cloudflare makes a lot of changes over the months and over the weeks. So I wanted to film a new one here for 2018 so you can see um, what the interface looks like now since they have made some UI changes. And um, I also want to show you how to troubleshoot some issues. I, I always say during these videos that I make these tutorials based on the support tickets that I see at Name Hero. Just recently, we did a complete tutorial on our automatic SSL secure certificates. Um, up until then, up until now here in 2018, um, we actually had to manually generate those if they didn't automatically generate in our interface. Well, now you can generate those inside of cPanel. So we're already seeing a big reduction in those support tickets. So on the flip side, I want to do a tutorial series here on Cloudflare because that's another thing um, that we see a lot of support requests um, for each day. Now, it is important to rem remember Remember that we are not Cloudflare support. Now we are Name Hero support, and we'll try our best to help you out with certain issues. But sometimes, since we don't have access to their full backend, um, there's some things we cannot do. So if that happens, then you know we ask that you politely reach out to Cloudflare support and and see um, you know if they can help you out in those search certain instances. Um, but without further ado, let me get into how to set this up on your domain uh, so you can kind of understand how you go about that. So right now I'm on the main page of Name Hero. I want to log in to my account, so I'm going to hover over here and click Log In. And I've already got it open in another browser here. So I'm going to navigate to my hosting package, and for this example, I'm going to set it up on resellerhostingus.com, which is my corporate reseller demo account. So I'm going to click on that, and from there I'm going to go into cPanel. So I'm going to click log into cPanel. Makes it easy to uh, one-click log in. Okay, from here I want to just type in Cloudflare, and you can see that the Cloudflare logo is right here. And so from here I can set up my account. So if you already have a Cloudflare account, you can click here and log in. But I'm going to create a brand new one. And I'm going to assume that most people that are just getting started with Cloudflare, um, you also have a brand new account. So I'm gonna click create new, and you can see it just wants an email and a password. So I'm gonna type in admin at resellerhostingus.com. And I'm gonna make a strong password here. I'm just click out here, go into cPanel. And if you go into password and security, you're gonna see there's a password generator. I like to use this for a lot of my passwords um, just because I know it's gonna be strong. So let me find my Cloudflare window and add that. Whoops. And paste. I agree to the terms. Make sure you read their terms and conditions and privacy if you haven't already. I have, so I'm gonna continue on. Okay, so now I've got my account, and it says add your website, you can do more after the signage process, add DNS records, select plan, update name servers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this out, I'm gonna go back to here, and click sign in. Because I wanna do this through cPanel. So admin at resellerhostingus.com, my strong password that I have on my clipboard. Log in. Okay, so now I've got two different options. One, I can provision the domain with a CNAME setup, or two, I can provision the domain with a full zone setup. Now, if you're a frequent reader of our Name Hero blog, I've got a blog post, and I'll link to it in this tutorial as well, called Partial versus Full Integration. A partial integration is a CNAME setup. So this means that you're going to use the same name servers that you're currently using. The full setup means you're actually going to change your name servers to Cloudflare's name servers. Either one is appropriate. I know the biggest difference between the two is the partial setup doesn't always work on the root domain. Instead, you have to use www.yourdomain.com for Cloudflare to be active. And so that's not a big problem for many, but some people uh, want the full integration. Now, I know a lot of our resellers, they want to use their private name servers. That's one of the reasons why they have a reseller account. So they want to do the CNAME setup. Either one you choose is appropriate. Now, if you do the full zone setup, um, you are going to have to change the name servers. If you do the, the um, partial CNAME, you're not going to have to change your name servers. I would say from my experience, three years running Name Hero and going, uh, most people choose to do the CNAME setup. So that's what I'm going to walk you through at this point. So I'm going to click provision with CNAME setup, and this way I don't have to change my name servers. So I'm going to click that, and you can see now it's activating the zone type partial, use Cloudflare active. 
And now here are all my DNS records. Seeing them populating automatically into here. And you can see the C name to reseller hosting US goes to Cloudflare. And it also C names um, the main domain here as well. So now Cloudflare is going to work on my domain. That's all there is to actually setting it up. Now let me go here and click on my domain. Click here. And we want to go to secure. Okay. Now, this is an important thing. The site cannot be reached. The web page, HTTPS, Resource US, might be temporary down or it may be moved permanently. The problem with this is, since we just enabled Cloudflare, it has to reissue re your SSL certificate. Now, since we, we already had it before we had Cloudflare, because we have free and automatic SSL at Name Hero. But when we added Cloudflare, it makes that certificate invalid, and Cloudflare has to reissue one on their end. So if I go over to domains, or settings rather, go down here to SSL, you can see flexible. I can do flexible or full. Um, a full requires that you have one on the server, so I can just click full. But it's still not going to issue right away. It's still going to take a little bit for the settings to take effect. That's why I recommend if you're, issue, if you're setting up Cloudflare for the first time, do it at night. Do it before you go to sleep. Do it during your non-peak hours, especially if you're using SSL, because it's going to have to regenerate um, that on their end. And there's nothing we can do at Name Hero to speed that process up. So to access our site, we want to remove the HTTPS so we can still get to the website. And it is using Cloudflare. So that's the first thing, and that's probably the biggest thing we see in our support center is people saying, well, I enabled Cloudflare, and now my domain doesn't work. Great. Well, that's because it's got to reissue the SSL. Your domain does work, but your secure certificate does not work. And Cloudflare asks that you allow them a full 24 hours to set it up. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it is what it is, right? There's nothing we can, that's just how Cloudflare works. Um, now, with that said, another popular integration with Cloudflare is the Railgun. So let's go to home. Scroll down here and you can see Railgun. So Railgun is a piece of technology that if you purchase through Cloudflare directly, you have to have their business account, which is $200 a month starting out. So at Name Hero, we've integrated with them. So you don't have to buy the business account. It's free, the Railgun is. Um, and it says, note software installation at your host. Right, we've already done that. Um, so LW Central is our main Railgun node. You just click this to on and then it enables the Railgun. There's nothing else you have to do. Um, you can read more about Railgun if you need to um, right inside of here. But that's all needs to be done is you just need to enable it right here. Now again, I like to um, I like to let this sit for just a little bit before I go testing it. We, there's a um, Cloudflare plugin called Claire um, for Chrome and people will check their website immediately um, with Claire. Let me find it here for you. Um, and, and they'll say, well, Ryan, it's not showing in Claire. Well, the reason not, because it takes a full 24 hours sometimes to enable um, throughout the Cloudflare system. So if you're not seeing it right off the bat, um, and then give it some more time. So let me look, let me pull this window here. I have to use my um, regular window, not incognito, to show you Claire. So if I click here, this is Claire, and you can see Railgun has been enabled. So it is working. The orange cloud means Cloudflare is on, and the red means um, the Railgun's enabled. Let's see if it's non, the non www too. See, I've got this set to force to www, so it is going to be on there. Um, but again, if you're not seeing this right away, give it some time. Once again, if I go to HTTPS, I have to wait till that secure certificate generates. And so I'm going to give that a full 24 hours and check that again. Um, but this using Claire, it's right here, and it's just a browser plugin. You just Google Claire for Chrome, and you can download it. Um, so we can click trace, you know, it's going to give us some more details about this. Um, if you click this also, it'll scroll down, you can see the real gun, um, the, the compression's working. Here's the milliseconds in time and the real gun ID and all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of how we can just verify that it does work is using that, um, Chrome extension called Claire. Um, but again, once you enable Cloudflare, I want you to give it a full 24 hours, um, to let everything kind of propagate and to work out, um, before reaching out to support. Uh, in 24 hours, you'll also begin to see stuff coming through your analytics here. Um, and um, you'll see that th those charts populate with how much traffic you have and all that stuff. Now, if you ever have a DDoS attack on your website, one, our support team is going to reach out to you. But two, you can turn on their under attack um, 
um, security here. And what this will do is it will force a browser integrity check when someone goes to your site. Say so checking your browser before accessing resellerhostingus.com, process is automatic. Um, so this is just you know a good way to mitigate DDoS attacks automatically, and you can be do it's done right here. I like to leave this on medium though, unless I am under attack. So there's some other stuff here like a challenge password. Um, like if, if it detects that maybe it's not a real user, it's going to give them a CAPTCHA. And so this is how long that CAPTCHA shows. Just leave that default. Browser integrity check. Yeah, you want to keep that on. SSL, we said we were going to do full since we have one. Um, or you can do flexible. Either one. Um, auto minify. This will actually auto minimize the um, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML your pages. Um, turn this on at your own risk. Sometimes this will break your page if it's not coded correctly. So you might want to refer to your developer before you go doing this. You can turn it on and try it, but if you have an issue, you might want to turn it back off. Development mode, this is really important. When you enable Cloudflare, Cloudflare has all this caching on it. That's one of the benefits of Cloudflare. It caches your static resources. In layman's terms, that means it caches your CSS, your JavaScript. So it doesn't have to load each time your visitor hits a new page. So when they go to your site, it loads all this stuff, and then it caches it. So then when they go to the next page, it doesn't have to reload it again. It makes it faster. The problem with that is if you're developing your site, you're working on your menus or changing your design, um, sometimes those changes aren't reflected instantly. And so the way that, that you uh, rectify that is you turn on development mode, and this will temporarily disable the caching to some why you make your changes. So to turn that on, you just click on, and um, it will automatically um, turn off on itself. And I think it's about four hours or so. Um, but that's this is where you control it um, right here. So now if I go to my page here, it's not going to be doing the caching. And I can see my changes if I need to make changes to my site, to my CSS, um, or anything like that. Once again, it's still not generated that um, HTTPS. So I cannot view the secure site until that does generate. So again, I can turn that back off, and then the caching has resumed. Uh, browser cache expiration, this is how long it caches the files. You can increase or decrease this. Um, I like just the default four hours, but you can change that um, based on your preferences. And you can click help on any of these um, to read more about um, how it caches and kind of specifics behind it. So I'm not going to get into all those details now. Okay, so analytics will um, populate on its own over 24 hours. Settings, we went through that. Domains, now this is all your DNS records, and um, you manage these inside of cPanel. So if I go back to control panel, go back to cPanel, if I type in DNS, um, advanced zone editor, this is where I can add um, DNS records for my account. Um, and then they'll, show, they'll, rec they'll rectify with Cloudflare um, inside of here, so you can see them inside of here. But that's where you, where you edit these. If you're going to do a full Cloudflare integration, you will actually manage your DNS on cloudflare.com. So you won't manage them in cPanel anymore. That's another big um, difference between partial versus full. And that's why another reason why customers like to go with the partial integration, because they want to have all their DNS managed inside Name Hero. Because if you manage your DNS at Cloudflare, unfortunately, we don't have access to your cloudflare.com account. So if you want to add a C name or modify your DNS, we can't do it for you anymore. You have to go to Cloudflare and do it um, through them. So I guess that's probably the biggest difference between a partial and full integration. If you choose to do a full Cloudflare integration, you kind of have to rely on their support to do a lot of stuff. I mean, sometimes our team will ask in our support desk, hey, can you, if you give me your Cloudflare login, I can kind of look at it and try my best. But again, since we're not Cloudflare support, all of our techs aren't trained extensively on Cloudflare. So, you know, we, we put our best effort forth, um, but can't make any promises. If your DNS is kept on our server, then we can, of course, edit it and modify it as we best see fit um, for your specific needs. So that's important to keep in mind. But now you can turn on Cloudflare on these certain records. You can see it's off by default on a lot of these, um, but it is on your main website. So I recommend that you leave this off, um, especially on like your webmail and your cPanel and webhost manager, because Cloudflare is not smart enough, unfortunately, to generate SSL certificates and you'll have SSL errors if you enable it here. So just leave it on for your main domain. And you kind of just leave this default. Um, the Cloudflare plan, this is their free plan. So you can change it to one of their uh, paid plans if you want more of the features. 
But, you know, since you are getting the Railgun stuff, there's really no need. You know, you can just keep it on the free Cloudflare plan. And that's what I recommend. Um, if you click home, you can see they've got a feature called Always Online. This is, let's just say for some reason, and this doesn't happen often, that your server would go offline. Um, this is actually going to show the latest cache page to your visitors. So they're at least seeing something and not just a timeout page. I like to leave that on. It's on by default. IPv6 compatibility. This just enables IPv6 support in the gateway. Leave that on. Uh, caching level, it's just standard is what the default is. You can say they ignore the query string or just no query string. And that's if your pages are using like a resource in US. Like if you were using like a query string as slash index dot PHP and then a query string looks like this, a question mark and then an argument. So like page equals first, something like that. This is a query string and you can actually have cloud for um, ignore this because some people that use, sometimes scripts that use query strings, this will get messed up. But if you're not using it, if you don't even know, just leave it on standard. And you can click help again, and it will um, tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, Railgun, we went over that. You want to use the um, LW Central, not the staging, but the Central, um, if you want Railgun. Um, if you notice any problems with your PHP scripts, I know sometimes uh, PHP scripts have a hard time with the Railgun, so then you might want to disable it while you troubleshoot that with the developer of the script. Sometimes the um, cookies get messed up in certain scripts, but we have tested extensively with like WordPress, and it works great, and it really does help your load time. But again, you can click help and read all the good stuff about what Railgun is and what it does. But that's how you enable it. Very simple. Purge cache. So as I mentioned earlier, that if you're making changes to your page, um, they might not show up immediately. So that's why you use development mode. Well, if you need to delete all the cache, all the elements at Cloudflare's cache and just kind of force a reset, click purge cache and you can purge everything. And then it's going to purge all your cache. Just takes a second here, but it says 30 seconds here uh, to purge the cache. And now when you go to the site, you can reload it and it won't pull any cache resources. It's going to pull everything fresh. So that's um, just a helpful thing in there. But with all that, that's all there is to Cloudflare. There's not much more to it. Um, so please don't overcomplicate Cloudflare. I mean, it is that simple. Again, if you're going to do the full integration with Cloudflare, then you're going to have to reach out to their support because I, we don't have your Cloudflare logins. It doesn't store. Um, thankfully, cPanel does save this. So when you're doing a partial, next time you go to cPanel and you type in Cloudflare and you click on Cloudflare, you're going to see it automatically logs you back into your account, right? So it automatically brings you just right back on into here. Um, Whereas if you're doing that full integration, you're not going to have that login. So the partial integration is what you're wanting. It um, for the most part, if you want, you know, if you want to have our team service and support the account um, and be able to help you out, especially with DNS issues, you want to use that uh, partial integration. But like I said, the SSL, um, you need to give that a full 24 hours because they actually have to regenerate on their side. And I'm sure on the back end of Cloudflare, they've got like this queue and then the queue, it just goes through it. Bam, 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 bam. So, you know, even in our, even with our auto SSL, if you go into SSL TSL status, you're going to see that you do have a secure certificate, but with Cloudflare enabled, it changes everything. So it has to reissue a certificate on Cloudflare's end. So that's why I recommend if you're new to Cloudflare, set, turn this on at night, turn this on during non-peak, maybe wait till the weekend, you know, till Friday afternoon when, you know, everyone's going home, enjoying the weekend, then turn it on, um, especially if you're using SSL on your site. You can disable that SSL, though, and just so people can't actually get to your site. But definitely you wouldn't want to do that, you know, when you're getting visitors and orders and stuff like that. You wouldn't want to do that midday. Wait till the evening to do that. Um, that's really all there is to it. You know, don't mess with these, um, the Cloudflare C names. Um, you know, once you see those in your, your zone editor, you don't want to mess with those. You'll see, like, see this Cloudflare here. You don't want to delete that, of course, or edit that because that's how it does connect um, to Cloudflare. So you'll see this here. It shows up now with Cloudflare. So you do not want to change that. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to let me know. Comment on this video. Comment on the blog post. I'm going to kind of put this everywhere um, so you can see it. Um, but that's how it works. Um, I like Cloudflare a lot. Um, you know, it, it can be frustrating to use sometimes. So if you, you run into issues, you don't have to use it. Our servers are already extremely fast. We already have DDoS protection for SSL. So, um, you know, unless you really need it, you might not want Cloudflare. Um, but I personally like it. And um, But again, you shouldn't look so much into it. You know, if you start having issues with it, just turn it off um, and maybe revisit it later. 
Um, but that's how you do integrate it with your account. Uh, if you have any questions, again, let us know. We'd be more than willing to help you out. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for using Name Hero and your support.